Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for Beer Geek Nation. Today we are looking at a beer from Keller. This is his Beer Geek Cocoa Shake, coming at a 12.2% alcohol by volume. It's a different variation on his Beer Geek um, Vanilla Shake or Beer Geek Milkshake. I forget exactly what it was called, but they are using cocoa in this one, chocolate, and a ton of it from what I can tell. Did I say it's coming at 12.12% alcohol by volume? I picked this one up at craftcity.com. I actually really enjoyed the McKellar um, Vanilla Beer Geek Shake. I forget what it was called, boy. I just had it, but oh well. Um, it was really, really good stuff, and he's really kind of come become known for that beer. It's become a really popular beer, so it's cool to see him new in variations. It comes in one of those 11.2 ounce bottles. So with that said, let me get into glass. As you guys know, it smells, tastes, and get the final verdict on the Beer Geek Cocoa Shake. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Beer Geek Cocoa Shake. Oh, wow. It smells like a milk chocolate bar, a little bit of vanilla, cocoa, cocoa, cocoa. I, if you have any, if you've ever had that cocoa, the Hershey's cocoa powder when you open it, that's what it smells like. I mean, it smells like cocoa powder, like a Hershey's milk chocolate bar, a little bit of a coffee flavor to it. Just absolutely crazy. Wow. All right, guys, so the taste on the Beer Geek Cocoa Shake. Cheers. Ooh, wow. That is a lot of chocolate. Wow. Right at the front of the tongue, you're immediately getting bombarded with big, sweet um, milk chocolate, cocoa powder, middle of the mouth. You get a nice kind of dark fruit, subtle dark fruit component to it, a little bit of vanilla kind of sweetness in there, but it's just cocoa, 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 a little bit of dark chocolate in there as well, some bitterness from a dark chocolate, uh, big sweet aftertaste in the aftertaste, more chocolate, more cocoa. I'm getting a little bit of heat from the alcohol, maybe a little bit of sweetness from it, but it's not overwhelming at all. If you like chocolate, and this is easily, easily the most chocolate-forward beer I've ever, ever had. I mean, it tastes like liquefied chocolate with alcohol in it. It is crazy, crazy stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the McKellar Cocoa Shake 12.12%, available now. You can pick it up to Craft City, guys. Going to give this one a B plus. If you like chocolate in your beer, you're probably going to want to pick this one up. This is by far the most chocolate-forward beer I've ever had. Uh, it blows that southern tier chocolate beer out of the absolute water. 12.12%. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the heat. It's kind of starting to build. A little bit of sweetness in there. It's a very, very one-sided beer. It's all cocoa, all chocolate, but that's, I guess, what it's supposed to be. So, you know, it, it, it is a little bit one-sided. I'd like to taste a little bit more of the, the stout component to it. Maybe a little bit more vanilla. Maybe some subtle kind of dark fruit or roastiness in there. Um, it's there, but it just gets clobbered down by the, uh, the cocoa. So with that said, very, very chocolatey, lives up to the name, getting a B plus. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.